This video has been sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. Landscape photography can be a funny old game, which can fill you with excitement and adrenaline just as much as it can leave you feeling disappointed and underwhelmed. I've had moments of peace and tranquility, and moments of panic and frustration when out with my camera. It seems that no two days are ever the same. In the time, nobody is losing. Very rarely does reality exceed expectations, and most of my own disappointment comes from having expectations that are too high. One thing I've learned over the past few years is to manage what I should expect from a location or a trip, and to be open to other possibilities if things don't quite go to plan. One way of doing this is to limit the amount of research I do. Seeing epic images from other photographers from specific locations will not help in the pursuit of my own landscape photography. That's not to say that I don't enjoy looking at the work of other photographers, of course I do. And this is where I get a lot of my inspiration, but when it comes down to visiting a specific valley or stretch of coastline, I prefer to keep my eyes closed and my mind open. Of course, there are some locations that are so well photographed that it's almost impossible to avoid being influenced by the work of others. This is Vesterhorn, a prominent mountain range on the southeast coast of Iceland. It is popular and very well photographed, and for years I have been coming here in the hope of getting those perfect conditions. But sadly, after five or six visits, I have yet to see the mountain in all its beauty. Most of the time, the mountain is hidden beneath a thick layer of low-hanging cloud. I remember my first visit here and I was so disappointed that I couldn't see the mountain and all I wanted was a wide-angle shot with perfect reflections and beautiful light. But I actually think this is a rarity here. Today it seems it's business as usual. We are lucky enough to be able to see Vesterhorn, but sadly the light is flat and the conditions are relatively uninspiring and after visiting the same location time after time and being forever disappointed, it does start to get to you. It's time to accept that I am never going to get my own epic, iconic shot of Vesterhorn. But on this trip, Iceland has been full of surprises, and it seems that after hours of flat light, Iceland once again has delivered. You see that? Fantastic. Say that again, Thor, hang on. I, <laughs> I told him so. Yeah, I deliver. You did not say anything. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> As the sun rose from the northeast, clouds started to roll into position just in time to catch the first light of a new day. And although we had been watching the cloud movements closely, we never expected it to light up as it did. Just where it was needed. The usual shot here, the usual shot is to photograph wide all of the mountain range there. That's the classic shot, but simply does not work now because although we have beautiful colors in the sky there in the middle, and a bit on this side, we've got this white area just here. Do you see that? And then over here, we've got this really sort of dark sky. And what that means is it's just very unbalanced. And when you shoot super wide, you need a lot, you're gonna get a lot of sky in it and it just doesn't look great. Instead, we break out the long lens and use the shoreline as a lead-in. See that S-bend? See that S-bend that's catching the light and going straight up to this col in the mountain? That's the subject. I'm shooting a square composition of that. Simple. You know, you don't... It's not clear and obvious that it's this huge mountain range. It's just a vignette of the mountain range, and I love that. At the minute, I'm shooting a five-minute exposure with a 10-stop filter, but I've also taken a few straight shots with no filters, just a short shut speed of about, I don't know, like half a second or so. And it's just good to experiment and try these things. It's been a, it's been a bit of a slog. We have been hanging around for a good couple of hours waiting and hoping that the clouds were gonna move in and that something was gonna happen because it was in the forecast for the clouds to move in. And yeah, it looks like, looks like it's happened. I'm sorry guys, I'm just gonna check my uh, and we have one minute and 20 seconds to go, but I'm a little bit nervous about blowing out the sky, so I think 
I'm gonna shave 30 seconds off um, because I'm just, I don't trust myself. So uh, in, in a few seconds, we're gonna stop the exposure, see how it looks, and hopefully we'll have a fantastic image. The reason I was getting nervous and cutting short my exposure by 30 seconds was because when I made my initial exposure calculation of five minutes, 20 seconds, I hadn't taken into consideration the fact that this is sunrise, which means the sky is constantly getting brighter and brighter. It's funny how in just a few seconds, everything can change. I'm not gonna, we were all moping around, were we not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we were moping. Um, and then this happened and it's all, all hands to deck and it's fantastic. A long lens shot, a square vignette of an iconic mountain range. Five minute exposure, ish, there or thereabouts. Is it going to work? Nervous. Oh yes, wow. It has worked, I think. That is quite nice, that is quite nice, very ethereal, very dreamlike, and you know if I don't like it I do have the shorter exposure which I, I also like. There is one big problem here though, and that is there has been no wind, no rain, no big swells here in Iceland for some time, so there are a lot of footprints down on the beach, so we're going to have to do some creative dodging and burning, darking down that beach, maybe a bit of clone removal to lessen down some of those footprints. Not eradicate them altogether, not possible but we can subdue them and not make them so obvious. But this is a beautiful little scene and I'm so happy that we've had this splash of light here in Iceland. Perfect. In the was so wasted that this guy walks in the room who'd been doing tequila shots all night and if you watch his trousers fall down when he falls Ooh. over the bin oh. and everybody just jumps on him right and by this time I've, I've i think i got like four more tequilas and i was wrong guys 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 what the f is wrong with you this is a workshop we have clients that have been paying us a lot of money for us to working for them i've been working my ass off and you're standing here watching instagram talking about youtube what the f like we're paying you a lot of money to work for us and you you're supposed to be a professional. You piece is worth a Dude. In the nobody's losing. Faces change. But your face remains. So that was a, a beautiful, beautiful sunrise over Vesterhorn. I'm really happy with the shot, happy with the long exposure actually. Um, you know, I've still not got a photograph of the entire mountain range, but that's okay. I'm really happy with this nice square image that I got before and it's actually been a fantastic shoot because it went from being quite uninspiring and dull to just this amazing explosion of colour. But I'm a bit embarrassed, to be honest with you, because, um, you know, I, I sometimes feel I could be a bit unprofessional trying to have fun and Thor actually came over and gave me and Greg are a really serious talking to and I respect him for that because Thor is the hardest worker I've ever come across, I've ever worked with and like I, I don't know where he is now but he's most likely with the group working hard going around checking everyone's okay working with them to take great images you never see him slacking off you never see him skiving and I think I need to be more like that so I mean that's just unbelievable Unbelievable, unbelievable. What is this? What is this? Drinking. He's having a drink. Is that porn he's looking at? Him. Sorry, I uh, got a bit distracted. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, Beautiful, beautiful uh, sun, sunrise, I think. I think it was a sunrise. It's hard to tell at this latitude at this time of the year. But anyway, beautiful conditions. Very, very happy. And yeah, it's just been fantastic because I didn't think it was going to happen. And see everybody's mood lift when the light came was fantastic. So I'm going to leave it there. But thank you so much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And tune in next time when I have no idea what's going to happen. So until then... Thanks for watching and bye for now. 
So here's the image one final time and you can see the exact settings I used to take this photograph. I'd also like to point out that the vibrance and saturation sliders were not touched at all in Lightroom and the colors that you see in this image are entirely true to life. And whilst you're looking over the image, I'd like to say thank you one more time to Squarespace for sponsoring this content. Squarespace are an all-in-one platform where you go on and you build your own website using their drag and drop system. It's really easy you need zero web design building knowledge it's super super easy so if you fancy yourself a nice photography website and you want to use Squarespace go to www.squarespace.com forward slash heaton and give it a free trial and if you enjoy your free trial and only if you enjoy your free trial use the offer code heaton for 10 percent off your first purchase right guys thank you so much for watching again um, i'm gonna go and uh, i'll see you on sunday so until then bye bye